Hello, polar bears. I'm Ruben, the German. Hello, I'm David Varney. I like happy bars. Hi, I'm Kylie Klim. Welcome to In Between the Lines. Hey guys, welcome to our first episode here in between the lines. I'm in between the chairs and in this weekly episode, we're going to talk about the fair and give you a little rundown. Um, we have an interview with Mr. Hefner um, and on the end we have the hot minutes. So stay tuned, make yourself comfortable and enjoy. Fair week has passed and we have a lot of winners and a lot has happened. So we're going to list off a couple of the people that won some things, starting off with Miley Seabrook. She got third overall for Market Goat, fifth overall for Market Goat, third overall born and raised Market Goat, fourth overall born and raised Market Goat, overall Dairy Steer Showman, and Grand Champion Dairy Steer. Next, we have Kenna Ivling, she has reserve champion for Market Barrow, fifth overall, born and raised Market Lamb, and she got runners up for Fair Queen. Next, we have Carl Woodruff, runners up for Fair King. He got a champion Bat Bantman pair, reserve champion for best of show of poultry. And then we have Sean, who won Fair King. Then we have our junior fair board that just helped out overall fair and worked really hard to get the fair to where it was. We have Cooper, Carl, McKenna, Sean, Catherine, Lainey, Anne, Heidi, Marianne, Kirsten, Cam, and myself. Shout out to everybody else that participated at the fair. Go Bears. And now to Ruben and Mr. Hefner. I'm happy to welcome Mr. Hefner, our first guest here in the podcast. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. I'm very honored to be on the first first you have episode. A good day today. Great day. It's Perfect. game day. Today is game day too. All right. So, um, what we want to do, or we want to talk about today, is first teaching. So, how long have you been teaching? Here? This is my fifteenth year of teaching, and my third year here at Hard Northern. That's very cool. So, um, have you always wanted to be a teacher? Uh, no, actually, after I graduated high school, I worked as an electrician for about a year and a half. That's and funny. yeah, I made good money, but I uh, wasn't extremely happy with, with uh, the, the timing and scheduling and mm -hmm. how many hours I was working. So I decided to go back to school, become a teacher. So what made you change your mind? Um, I uh, actually got into a tutoring program when I was in high school and uh, tutoring younger kids and I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. And I started to enjoy math the more I understood it. And that kind of just seemed the, like the right thing to do. So. So in school, were you always good in math, or? Um, I was okay. I had to, you know, I had to study. I wasn't like some of the kids that never have to study and do well. You know, I wasn't really the, the smartest kid, but I did, you know, have to work pretty hard sometimes. And uh, and then, like I said, once I started to understand some of the stuff, I started to enjoy it a little bit more. So, nice. good to hear. Um, if you picture yourself, freshman Mr. Hefner, uh, what was his dream job? Or uh, I bet freshman Mr. Hefner had no clue no or clue not even mean. that the real world was coming up uh, soon. So I don't think I really had a plan at that point. I think um, I was just going to kind of wait till senior year and then that was the time to make those decisions. Good. And um, you've been to college after you, after the election. Yep. Yep. Um, and speaking of college, high school life. Um, have you you played football? Uh, I played football in high school. You have a little bit of basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Any other school activity goals? Uh, no, we had like a ski club or whatever, but it was kind of like a, a joke yeah. just to get discounted passes. So, um, so I, I didn't really participate in much else. All right. Um, and you've been a teacher now. So for some people who might think of going into teaching, school, do you have any advice you can give them? Yeah, um, it is um, is not always viewed as as the best profession by some, um, and there is some controversy here and there. But um, uh, I think every job probably has its 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 down points, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but um, from time to time, there is a lot of great moments you have with your students, and I, I really enjoy building relationships with students and and uh, getting to know kids and, and working with them. Um, and then at some point, usually there's that that light switch that kicks on that really makes things um, makes things worth it. So and I really I really do enjoy that. Nice. That's very good to hear. Um, 
So you played football. Mm -hmm. um, what, what was your position? Uh, in high school, I played uh, outside linebacker and tight end. And do you remember your number? I was number 80. Number 80? Yeah, I got really? the jersey hanging at home. You do? I do. We don't have a number 80. On our no. Team. It's a special number. Only special people get it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Um, so you, um, you're a big music fan. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I like to listen to music. Yep. Yeah. Some people have noticed it when they come to your classroom. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite genre? Uh, I definitely like, uh, uh, heavy metal rock, uh, yeah. what the, what they call new metal now. So, mm -hmm. um, which is getting to be a little bit older, which is <laughs> the old what happens when you stuff. get old. Yep. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite artist or, uh, right now I, I really like Slipknot. Um, Saw them in concert this summer, so um, that's kind of what my top band right now. And um, do you have like a motivation song that pumps up your jam? Uh, um, I do. Um, usually they're not very appropriate. They're pretty heavy, and they may, <laughs> yeah. they may talk about or sing about things that are not very appropriate. But uh, um, uh, Heretic Anthem by Slipknot I really like. I actually used to listen to that before football games when I was in high school. So. I want to listen into that. Yeah. Um, and the last question is, what do you think um, about Mr. Kaufman's music taste? Mr. Kaufman? Uh, he has a, a wide variety. Um, the, I think he's the type of guy who can enjoy every, every little bit of genre. Um, and we've discussed music a little bit here and there, and uh, we share a little bit of the same taste. So um, I know he's trying to, to play some, some requests and things like that and try to make pe people feel... Um, like they're involved with that, so that's good. And uh, even even maybe he doesn't agree with those songs too. I don't know, but uh, but some of those songs in the morning gets us going and gets yeah. us in the in the in the right mood to start the day. So that's a very good answer. Um, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Um, and now we have uh, the students' question. Okay. Um, all right. Well, then we. Hello. Next up is the um, student questions. When we ran that poll up. Uh, Students have uh, asked ask questions from what Ms. they want to hear from Mr. Hefner to the questions. So a couple weeks ago, you wore um, Sean Coleman's uh, jersey, right? That's right. So how did that smell? Uh, he's a clean guy. It's, it was clean. A um, little snug. Well, maybe not as skinny as Sean is, but, uh, but yes, it was clean. It smelled, it smelled wonderful. Okay, next question is, um, what's your favorite class to teach? Favorite class? Uh, I, I love algebra. Algebra one's my thing. Uh, those are, that's a class I look forward to teaching the most. Okay. Next up is um, what's your favorite thing to do the past time, like after school? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, right now I'm coaching football. That's kind of what uh, takes up most of my time. I, I do enjoy that. Um, but outside of football season, whatever my girls want to do, I'm at home with them, making pretty crafts and painting fingernails and all those good things. When you said um, about uh, coaching football, so how do you think the football season is going so far? Uh, I think I think so far it's going pretty well. We we struggled week one, uh, but since then I think we've gotten a lot of things corrected. And uh, big game tonight uh, against Waynesfield, so it'll, I think we'll be tested. It'll 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 show us where we're at. Hey, really, you said uh, algebra is your favorite. So is um third period algebra your, your favorite class? Oh, uh, all my students are, the, are my favorite. So it's really hard to just pick out one favorite class. You is, know, is it? Uh, I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to pass on, and and uh, I'd prefer not to comment on that. <laughs> so, what's your role on the football team as a coach? Uh, I coach uh, out, uh, linebackers and wide receivers. Okay, and um, what's your favorite like subject in general? Just like school subject? Yeah. And I won't say lunch or gym, uh, but I do. I do enjoy math. Math, math is my favorite subject. It's the most interesting to me. Okay, it looks like this is all the questions. So, um, thank you for a for answering those. Absolutely, I enjoyed it. Hi, I'm Kylie Clem. Who am I here with? Skylar Bishop. We're doing the hot minute. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Okay. Your favorite place to eat? Uh, Cheddar's. Ohio State versus Tennessee. Tennessee, duh. Um, your favorite clothing brand? The Nike. What is your favorite fruit? Pineapple. Name three presidents. Obama, Trump, Biden. <laughs> Describe hard northern in one word. Grit. I knew you were going to say that. If you could be... Oh, crap. If you could have any superpower, which one? Bruh, flying. No doubt in my mind, I'd fly. Why? Because you can fly. Where would you go? All across the world. Any specific place?
Tennessee Stadium. It's been there already, but I go back. I go back. Um, <laughs> name three countries. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Just no. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the podcast. Yep, no problem. Anytime. Okay. You gonna know what podcast this is? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo, Polar Bears, that was so far our first episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, now make sure you're all going to vote for your king and queen, <coughs> Kylie, um, for homecoming. And then have a great week. And um, we'll see you at our next episode. Have fun.